Now, sports coverage in the panhandle spirit with Lee Baker. Hello, everyone. No baseball tonight. Game six of the World Series rained out in St. Louis. That leaves the players with a lot of time to kill. Leave it up to former Astro and Cards player Lance Berkman to put it in perspective. I'm not even sure why they cancel it. We have this is better weather than we had for game one, so I'm actually a little bit upset about it. How do you come up? I guess I'm just gonna go lay up on the couch like a big fat pig and watch a movie <laughs> or something. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. By the way, his manager Tony LaRusso went to see their recently released baseball movie Moneyball. Huh. Meanwhile, the same pictures are set for tomorrow night, Colby Lewis and Jaime Garcia. All right, it's the end of October. Always brings us an interesting week here in Amarillo. It's Spirit Week. Lots of activities between students. Some good, some not so good. And there's the football game, the big Halloween matchup between Crosstown Rivals, Emerald High, and Tasco's 55th meeting of the schools. Pro News 7 sportsman Kale Steed brings us the rivalry. Ken Plunk and Mel Maxfield have seen their fair share of rivalries in their time as coaches. But after being involved in this showdown, they both say there's something unique when these two teams crack pads at Dick Bivens. There's a lot of electricity in the air and, you know, a lot of uh, anticipation for the ball game. So it's it's one of those unique situations, you know, and that's that's what makes jobs uh, like Amarillo High so appealing because you're going to get a chance to play a, and coach in those kind of ball games. Uh, there's so many people there. Uh, it, it's so loud. Both crowds are big. Uh, you you kind of have the sensation of occasionally getting booed when you come down the tunnel. This game is city divided. For example, Emerald High Center, Alex Fowler's dad was on Tascosa's coaching staff for six years. And for Rebs linebacker Joshua Lomely, after a year at Emerald High, he transferred to Tascosa. Um, I ended up going there my freshman year, and I ended up coming over here, so, you know, the story goes. So uh, I, I like it here. It's my home here, you know. That's where I think is where I'm supposed to be. So. You get to see both sides of the rivalry. Both, both teams say a lot, a lot of the same stuff whenever they... Whoever gets down to it. This game means everything to everyone at both schools. A rivalry, 55 years in the making. 15,000 fans on each side, and you know, you just don't know what's going to happen, you know, so you don't need to let that get into your mind. I mean, it, it's great. It's overwhelming almost. It, it, it brings another, uh, another emotion out of you, you know, let, it lets you play with it a little harder, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, man, that, that feeling is. It's unforgettable. Get your tickets early and get painted up for Halloween Friday. Kickoff, 7.30 at a chilly Dick Bevins. Kale Steed, Pro News 7 Sports. Nice, Kale. Should be fun. High school football weekend begins tomorrow night. Cap Rock hosts Plainview. San Jacinto will play at the Vega JV. Smothernotes, Amarillo Venom will hold an open tryout on Saturday, November 19th over at the Civic Center. Visit GoVenom.com or call 350-7277 for all that info. The WT Volleyball Team 4th in the first regional poll. They host number 9 Abilene tomorrow night. Number three, Angelo State Saturday, and it's tomorrow already in Malaysia. Ryan Palmer's playing around one of the Asia Pacific Classic. Uh, he's two over through 12 holes. I think the Rangers, and if you're really interested, it's 13 hours yeah. different. Think the Rangers do it in game six tomorrow? If Let's they hope play? so. That's, yeah. We don't need baseball World Series no, game seven like on Friday going night. On to November no, and no, stuff no, like no, that. No. How low will it go the next couple of days? Steve Kirsch is back next.